Hockey dreams are born on ponds and at parks. Today, high school hockey dreams come true on Budett Bay. I never expected 12 years down the road how big this event would become because this has kind of turned into Minnesota's unofficial holiday. In January of 2007, a revolutionary hockey event unfolded on Budette Bay. It was the inaugural Hockey Day Minnesota. Since then, it's grown into a statewide celebration, reaching new levels each year. It was an idea that started with Mike Papara of Baudette, Jamie Spencer of the Minnesota Wild, and other hockey minds to bring hockey back to its grassroots. There were five of us just chatting about different aspects of hockey and how they had done some college outdoor games. And I think it was Jamie who brought up the idea that, well, you guys up there in northern Minnesota, you'd have the perfect venue for an outdoor high school hockey game. And we said, well, we do have lots of natural ice. We, we could actually probably play a game on the Bidette Bay. I thought this could have some statewide appeal. So I called Fox Sports North, uh, told them about the idea that we had this frozen pond hockey game we wanted to do. And is there any interest of giving us some coverage and some promotion. It sounded like they were pretty excited right from the get-go. As time went along, explained that it was gonna be part of something the Minnesota Wild wanted to call Hockey Day. So now we had a hockey game to put on. With a minimal budget and the game date set, the Badette community was faced with an uphill battle to pull this event off. But the area rallied and the volunteers stepped up. Their biggest obstacle was constructing a playable rink on open ice. We found boards for sale, I believe, in Dickinson, North Dakota. Bought them sight unseen. They weren't numbered, it was just pallets of boards. And here you go, guys. It was a real puzzle putting those boards together. As we did put them up, then we numbered them. Then to get these posts to stand up was one of the bigger problems we had. So we said, well, we'll just drill a hole and stick them in the ice, not go all the way through, and then flood it and make them freeze in so then we could attach the boards to those posts. The week leading up to it, a couple practices that week, you know, the practice was haul out the boards from you know the shore out. We had the whole team keeping the boards in place. The whole team would have tip-ups out and we'd be setting up the boards and flag would go off and we'd all be running after that, you know, having a good old time. With the rink ready and the community buzzing, the day finally came and Hockey Day Minnesota was born. Good morning and welcome to Hockey Day Minnesota. High school hockey goes back to basics with some old fashioned outdoor hockey. The day was magical. I don't know if you could repeat that atmosphere. I've never seen that many people in town at one time before. I mean, it was crazy. You know, there, there had to be thousands of people here. Most of the crowd is already there. You see all the cameras set up. Just a surreal experience. This is huge for our team and, and the whole the whole town. It's just such a big event bringing in all these people. The players entered up at the road next to the VFW. And to keep it a little bit more like old time hockey, they walked down the hill in their boots in full uniform. We're set to go. The opening face-off is underway, and congratulations, everyone, for getting this game to this point. In a tight battle, Lake of the Woods beat Johnson 5-3. The success of that event was seen not only statewide, but reached a national level with the game-winning goal making ESPN's top playlist that night. After the game, we'd gone back to my house, and I got a phone call that said, hey, you know, turn on ESPN just to see my town on a national television station. To me, that was kind of the coolest thing. Just for the kids, the community, the school, the town, it's good for us to work together and, and have a common goal that wasn't, I mean, it was a hockey game, but it was more than a hockey game. You know, it was a big community event. We got to show off our little town for even just a couple hours on TV it was huge. 12 years later, these players are entering their 30s. They now have full-time jobs. Many are husbands and dads, like Nick Boddy, who is the father of three. And many are still involved in hockey, like Cody Hasbargan, who is an assistant coach on the Lake of the Woods high school team. But no matter where their lives take them, they will always have pride in being the pioneers of Hockey Day. It felt like the start of something big. Getting it to branch out and being a start of that is, is really cool. I mean, we 
We were the flagship of Hockey Day in Minnesota. It'll be something we look back on and tell our grandkids. That was just an unbelievable experience and some harebrained idea that turned into something great. I mean, it just it just absolutely took off. I mean, it, it's something like that never really takes off, but that did. I've played a, a few televised games throughout college and some big time games, playoff games and stuff like that. And I think just the, the amount of enjoyment I got from playing in that game to this day, that, that has to rank at the top. The best hockey experience of my career. It always enters my mind that what a fun day that was and how it brought the community together and everybody pitched in. And we all had a common goal and everybody worked together. And then to see how it's blossomed and gone from community to community, uh, um, we're really proud of the fact that we were able to be the first one.